We're back now with our new series, Crypto Universe, looking at the digital currency craze that's generating both excitement and some skepticism. Tonight, CNBC's Kate Rooney takes us to one city hoping to become America's crypto capital. This is no ordinary pickup basketball game. Founders, CEOs, entrepreneurs, creators. It's an elite networking scene. Buying a crypto token is required to join. This is Miami, the city that wants to lure tech from Silicon Valley and finance from New York, all by embracing crypto. I must take about 10 calls a day if you are new to Miami. Investor Chris Adamo co-founded the basketball group. A native New Yorker is now a 10-year resident of Miami. Miami is our home base, for mostly year-round. Everything comes to us. That energy is spilling into local businesses. Restaurant Freehold just started accepting Bitcoin as payment. It's something that people want it. Um, they want what's new, they want what's cutting edge. Our biggest crypto sale is 133 footer. Others are even accepting it as payment for bigger purchases. How many yachts have you sold using Bitcoin? So we've done about a dozen crypto transactions. Part of the draw to South Florida, low taxes, friendly legislation, and a mayor who's gone all in on crypto. I realized that there was a unique moment uh, for us to really change dramatically the perception of Miami to a real place of tech and finance, which I think uh, is gonna define the future of our country and our world. 44-year-old mayor Francis Suarez even takes his salary in Bitcoin. It's creating hundreds if not thousands of high paying jobs. Jobs brought in by people like Jack Abraham, a venture capitalist who started his company in San Francisco, then moved the headquarters to Miami. In some ways it feels like the first week of freshman year here, where everybody knows there's a lot of passionate, interesting, smart people. And if you can get into this community now, while it's still in this sort of somewhat of a formation phase, you can play a really big role in it going forward. Miami is even experimenting with its own cryptocurrency, Miami Coin. Its value has gone from six cents to a fraction of a penny, but the mayor is undeterred. <laughs> Any worry about a bubble? and the idea that this could be like the dot-com boom and bust. You know, we've had real estate bubbles uh, here uh, in the past. We've been kind of a little bit of a boom and bust kind of a city over time. What I think is different about this is I just don't see people going back. When you want to create a business, you want to go to the places where you can get access to capital to scale, and then of course, grow your company. Kate Rudy joins me now from the Bitcoin conference in Miami Beach. Kate, what is your sense of how Miami's efforts are working? Lester, if you just follow the money, one analysis shows investment in Miami area crypto startups jumped from $6 million in 2020 to $745 million last year. It's still a ways off from the Bay Area and New York City, but the growth here is undeniable. Lester. Okay, Kate Rooney, thank you. Up next, he's flying high.